Hey, so we had fun, right? What do you mean? I mean, I don't know what I mean. I guess I'm just asking if you had as much fun this weekend as I did. Yes, of course. Cool. Cool. So it's not just in my head? Of course not. I mean, I usually don't like losing that badly at mini golf. It was embarrassing, really. A little bit. You were bad. I know. Don't rub it in. I'm just messing with you. I know. <laughs> so, what we did, it was kind of like a date, right? What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. No. Tell me what you mean. It's nothing. I, I misspoke. I hope not. Because it felt like a date to me. Really? Yeah. So you're saying... I think you know what I'm saying. Thank God. I was freaking out and I wanted to ask you point blank, but I was scared. I like you, Leon. And I was hoping that you like me back. I like you back. Cool. <laughs> cool? So, I'll see you at school. See you then. You owe me 20 bucks. Why? Is this about our poker night? Because you lost, remember? Badly. No, it's about my date with Leon. You said date. I did. And he agrees with you? I told you he was gay. We had so much fun together, so I had to ask him. If he was gay? If he liked me. And he does. So, what does this mean? Do you finally have a boyfriend? I don't know. Not yet, but maybe eventually. All I know is that you were wrong about us. It wasn't all in my head. I never said that. Do you want me to forward your texts from yesterday? Yeah, yeah, I remember what I said, but I'm still not giving you $20. I didn't expect you to. I just wanted to tell you the good news. Great, congrats. He's an awesome guy, despite how douchey all his friends are. Hey, have you talked with Leon today? Not really. I said hi in the hallway, but he was busy with some of his friends. Oh. It's all good. I'll see him at lunch. Yeah, about that. There's probably something you should know. What, is something wrong? Yeah. What? So, I saw Leon with his friends too, and I heard them talking about you. Okay, what did he say? He said that you begged him for help with your golf swing, so he taught you some pointers over the weekend. Okay, that's not at all what happened. And he said that you were flirting with him the whole time, and you wouldn't get the hint when he tried to tell you to stop. He said that? Yeah. And then everyone started laughing. He called you the F-slur, and then everyone laughed again. No, you misheard. There has to be another explanation. I'm just telling you what I heard. I guess you'll get your answer at lunch. But as your friend, I'm asking you to be careful with this guy, okay? He's already outed you to all his friends, and if you try to talk to him in front of them, I think he might shut you down. No, he wouldn't do that. Just be careful. Maybe talk to him when no one else is around. Are you hiding out in the bathroom? No, I went home. I can't show my face at school anymore. So what? Are, are you going to come to school in a mask tomorrow? Do you know of any plastic surgeons in the area? Shut up. Tell me exactly what happened. You were there. You saw it. I was too far away to hear. I just saw you walk over to Leon's table, he handed you some money, and then you ran away crying. You were crying, right? Yeah. And everyone saw? Pretty much. So what did you say to each other? I just walked over to him, said hi, thanked him for the weekend, and he acted like I was insane. His friends started giggling and he said, I guess he's talking about my golf lessons, so he slipped me a 20 as if it was some kind of agreed upon payment for lessons. And then he winked at me and said, but don't get the wrong idea. I was too shocked to say anything, so I took the money and left, walked straight home. I'm so sorry. You're not gonna say told you so? You know I want to, but no, I'm not going to say that. I just want to know if you're okay. I'm fine. Are you? Not really. Why would he do this? Why would he tell me he was gay if he just planned to humiliate me instead? Did he say those words exactly? That he was gay? Not exactly, but he basically did. He said he liked me and he liked the date that we went on. His word. Then maybe he does like you and he's too much of a coward to own up to it. You think so? I think you should stay away from him. Fine by me. Hey man, I wanted to talk to you, but you just left in the middle of school. Are you okay? Do you think I'm okay? No. And why would you think that? Because I didn't want to talk about our private stuff in front of everybody.
private stuff? We went mini-golfing. How is that some deep, dark secret? You know what I'm talking about. God, I thought you'd be chill about all of this, but you just had to make a big deal. So did you mean what you said? About me liking you? About how I shouldn't get the wrong idea. I didn't want to say that. Then why did you? Because you embarrassed me. Because you forced me to. I didn't force you to do anything. You're the one who outed me, remember? Why'd you tell everyone? They already knew, Jeremy. And I didn't want them to suspect me too. You wouldn't get it. Are you serious? I'm the one person who would get it. You can live in the closet all you want, but that doesn't give you the right to throw me under the bus in an attempt to protect yourself. That's not what I did. All you had to do was play cool. You didn't have to cry in front of everybody. So what are you going to do now? What do you mean? Obviously, you've opened up a can of worms that you can't take back. I know your friends are going to keep coming for me, and I want to know if you'll tell them to stop. Sorry, not my problem. And it's not that big of a deal anyway. You're in drama and art club. Of course everyone assumes you're gay. It's not that surprising. But I'm in football and student council and track. I have a lot more to lose. So you won't say anything? No, and you won't either. Face it, Jeremy. If you say anything about me, I will shut you down and no one will believe you. God, I wasn't going to. I'm not a monster like you. Well, that's not fair. You know what else isn't fair? The school called my house because I skipped class. My parents had no idea, of course, so the principal told them what happened. What? Don't worry, he didn't mention you by name. He just said that I was confused and I came on to one of the normal students. Now my parents know that I'm gay and a complete loser. I hope you're happy. No, that's awful. I'm sorry. Sure you are. Hey, Sally, thanks. For what? For the flowers. They were very nice. I never sent you flowers. In fact, I assumed you'd be back at school where you belong. I'm going back tomorrow. My dad will have a coronary if I don't. They're still on your case? Kind of. Not really. They wanted me to tell them the whole story, but I couldn't. I was too embarrassed. But they know me well enough to know that I didn't do this to myself. So they're okay having a gay son? Yeah, it's not like they're religious or anything, thank God. Mom hugged me and said she loved me no matter what. Dad sort of did the same, but he's still pissed off that I ditched school. He says he wants me to stand up for myself. Agreed. But overall, they're handling this way better than I'd expected. I should have come out to them a long time ago. Yeah, you should have. On your own time. That creep robbed you of that opportunity. I know. So you really didn't send me flowers? No. Then who did? Perhaps a person who secretly likes you and feels guilty for what he did. No. You think so? Who else could it be? Wow. Well, that's very nice of him. And surprising. Don't be too forgiving, Jeremy. He's still talking about you. He's still making jokes with all his friends. He said you're absent from school again because you probably have AIDS now. Crap. Yeah, he's a real gentleman, huh? Hey. Hi. Can we talk? Are you alone? I am. I just got home. Good. Is there something you want to tell me? What? I already said I was sorry. About the flowers. Oh, you like them? Yes, they're beautiful. Great. I figured sunflowers would help cheer you up. They're loud and sunny. They remind me of you. Ah. So things are better now? Depends. How have your friends been acting at school? Same as always. No one's mentioned you all day. Really? Scout's honor. I've been doing my best to change the subject if anyone mentions your name. So people have mentioned me? No, you're safe. Okay, well in that case I feel great. I was worried that school would be just as bad as my home life. What do you mean? Well, my parents are still freaking out. They're very religious. I don't know if you know that. Now that they know I'm gay, they're going to send me to one of those conversion camps where they'll pay professionals to beat the sin out of me. No, they can't do that! And yet that's exactly what they're doing. But what am I saying? You're in the closet just like I was. Your parents would probably be just as bad as mine are. No, I, I think they'd handle it better than that. So are you thinking of coming out too? Maybe if you meet with my parents and explain everything, they won't be so hard on me. You know I can't do that. I know you won't. And I know that can't and won't are two completely different things. Do what you want. It's not my place to choose. But when I'm at school, I expect you to keep doing what you're doing. And what's that? Changing the subject when my name comes up? Like you said. You can keep doing that, right? Minimize the bullying? I'll do what I can. That's all I ask. And thanks for the flowers. 
please don't tell me you left school again. I didn't, I'm still here. But I'm waiting in Principal Hanover's office until he sends someone out to clean off my locker. He said he'd get it done, but I could tell he wasn't taking it seriously. So I said I'd wait in his office until the problem was fixed. He just sent a janitor to scrub it off. Really? So he didn't seem to care about the gay slur written on your locker? No, he didn't. Well, I'm proud of you for waiting there until it got done. I know, right? If this is standing up for myself, it feels good. You should do it more often. I will, especially when it comes to Leon. Have you seen him? Since I got back, no, he's been avoiding me. Though plenty of people have told me things that he's already said. And I know that he wrote the F slur on my locker. What, why? Because he gave me flowers yesterday. And he wrote a card, even if he didn't sign it. And I recognized his loopy writing on my locker. The double G's were a dead giveaway. And you're sure it was him? Yes. Did you tell Hanover? No, he wouldn't do anything about it. But you have to do something. I will. The only reason he's acting like this is to impress his idiot friends. And it's working, apparently. He's more popular than ever. But once I get through with him, he won't have a single friend left. What are you gonna do? You'll see. Hi, Leon. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I really need your help. What happened now? I don't know if you saw how my locker was defaced this morning. I didn't, but I heard about it. I'm so sorry. And you have no idea who did it? None at all. Do you want me to ask around? No, that would only draw more attention to you, and I don't want that to happen. Good, thanks. But I'm in a pretty tough spot right now. My parents heard about the vandalism, and they're blaming me for it. They think you wrote that about yourself? No, but they're still blaming me. They think I'm bringing it on myself. I'm already getting sent to that camp next month. Next month? But what about school? They think my spiritual well-being is more important than my grades. For how long? Until I'm cured. And in the meantime, I'm grounded. I'm lucky they haven't taken away my phone yet. Do you think they will? Take away your phone? I don't know. But they said that if I find out who's been bullying me, then I won't be grounded anymore, and they'll rethink the whole camp thing. Why? Because they want me to stand up for myself. They want me to prove that I'm a man or something. Wow. I know, it's messed up. But maybe you're right about asking around. You're so popular at school and everyone loves you. I know you can get to the bottom of this, right? All I need is a name. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That means so much more to me than any flower arrangement. And what will you do if I give you that name? Then whoever it is, I'm going to fight him. What? It's my one chance to get my parents off my back. All they care about is that I'm a man. And this is the only way I know how to prove it to them. So will you help me? Will you find out who's been bullying me? Yes, I promise. I did it, I found the culprit. Huh? <laughs> Michael Davis? Yeah, my best friend. That's him shoving something in your locker, isn't it? That's him. So obviously he's the one behind the gay slur. And the AIDS rumors? Yeah, those two. I knew it was just some stupid jock. No offense. So you got your answer. Now will this get your parents off your back? Almost, I still have to fight him. You can't do that, he's twice your size. I know, he's going to beat me up for sure. I don't expect to win, but I have to do this. Okay, suit yourself. Since when do you call me? Since I'm too excited to text. Well, I don't like talking on the phone, so text me when you're excited. Is it about your parents? Not really. Well, kind of. They're being uncharacteristically awesome. Mom just registered for PFLAG, which is the support group for parents of queer kids. Wow, that's a big step. I know. She only went to one meeting, but she asked a ton of questions. And she found out how public schools like ours can get in pretty big trouble if they keep ignoring anti-gay bullying. The rules say they have a zero-tolerance policy for that kind of stuff, and yet they just let it happen. Now, if it happens again, I'll document everything, and Mom will level an official complaint. Awesome! I know. Dad's on board, too. They're both being very supportive. Congrats! You know, in your roundabout way, you might actually make some positive changes at this school. Maybe. It's just a shame that guys like Leon can break whatever rule he wants and people still worship the ground he walks on. Not necessarily. I think he went a bit too far with the gay jokes lately. What do you mean? I mean, people are turning on him. He hasn't gotten into any trouble yet and his football friends will also stick by him no matter what. But I think most of our classmates feel sorry for you and blame him for his own intolerance. If only they knew. So you still haven't told me your master plan. I'm getting there. 
I just messaged Leon begging him to help me find the student responsible for the vandalism. Of course he didn't own up to it himself. He even sent me a photo of his buddy Michael shoving something into my locker. He's blaming his friend for something he did? Clearly. I mean, the photo was a foot away, so obviously whatever Michael was doing, Leon was in on it too. And what does that mean? You'll see. God, you're so frustrating. Just tell me. When I'm ready. I know you're probably with your friends, so you don't have to answer me if you don't want to. But I wanted you to know that I saw the note that Michael shoved in my locker. It was a death threat. What? No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. And the stupid idiot wrote it in his own handwriting. The same handwriting as the slur on my locker. I'm going to take this straight to the principal and have him compare writing samples with Michael's schoolwork. They'll know he did it and he'll be in big trouble. But I thought you were going to fight him. Not if I can get some justice this way. I have the evidence. But you can't! Don't worry, I won't tell anyone that you sent me that photo. I'll just let his handwriting speak for itself. Please, you don't want to do this. Then stand up for me. What? I have the letter. I'm going to confront Michael about it at lunch. But he'll lie. He'll probably blame me for everything if I try to say anything. But he's your friend. He wouldn't do that. All you have to do is tell him that I'm a person who doesn't deserve this kind of abuse. Don't even mention the gay stuff at all. Just put him in his place. You think you can do that? I don't want to. But you'll do it? I hope getting punched in the face was part of your big mysterious plan. Actually, yeah, it kind of was. Wow, you are full on insane. I know, but I think my plan worked. How could it possibly have worked? Michael called you every name in the book and then decked you. I'm okay. I don't even think I'll have a black eye. But did you see how Leon reacted? He didn't stand up for you, that's for sure. Of course not, I asked him to and he promised he would, but I knew that was just another lie. He's too much of a coward. Yeah, but did you expect him to start hurling homophobic bullshit at you? Actually, yeah, I was counting on it. That's why I asked to have a couple people film the whole thing on their phones. To get them in trouble with the school? Eventually, but I made sure that the videos went out to the entire student body, not the teachers. Why? You said it yourself, people are turning on him. And after this video is seen by everyone, he'll be radioactive to everyone except his equally homophobic jock friends. Okay, well, I guess that was an effective plan after all. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean any of what I said. I know. Are you okay? Well, I'm definitely going to have a black eye. This was not how it was supposed to happen. I know, you just couldn't help yourself. Please don't be mad. I'm not. In fact, I feel sorry for you. Can we talk? Just you and me, face to face? You know I can't do that. Meet me in the science lab, it's empty next period. No one will see us. I can't. If you really feel sorry for your role in all this, you will meet me in person. Okay, I'll, I'll go there right now. Great. Jeremy, where'd you go? Sorry, I was messaging Leon. He's going to meet me in the science lab to apologize. I'll get him to admit everything. And I need you to be there to film it. On my way. Hey, I'm outside your window. Where are you? I'm having dinner with Sally and my parents. But you told me to meet you. I know. I lied. What? Look, it might seem like a lot when you admit your feelings in private, but it doesn't mean anything if you're going to treat me like garbage when other people are around. But we went over this. I apologized. Yes, you did. You tearfully apologized and told me in no uncertain terms that you hate having to hide in the closet all the time. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? No, you have my word. But Sally sent your tearful little video to everyone on the football team, so I guess the word is out. What? She filmed you, Leon, and now all your friends know about you. And everyone else has already seen the other video, the one where you called me some pretty cruel names. Honestly, it looks like you don't have any secrets left. Face it, Leon, all your friends are going to abandon you. And after everything you did to me, you thought that I would still be interested in meeting you and keeping our relationship private? You really assumed I had zero self-respect, didn't you? Jeremy, please don't do this to me. It's already done. So things turned out even better than I expected. Since kindergarten, Leon had always been the most popular kid in school, but that all went down the drain in an instant. 
Not because people learned he was in the closet, but because they knew he was in the closet while systematically trying to ruin my life to throw people off his own rainbow scent. So his reputation was ruined, and the school was finally forced to do something. Thanks to my mom, who has turned into the biggest ally I could ever hope for, the school had to honor its zero tolerance policy and expel Leon. His other jock friends would have been in trouble too, but they banded together and threw him under the bus to protect themselves. I'm not too mad about that part though, because none of them would dare start anything now. And it feels great to see Leon get reduced to a friendless nothing. I'm not sure where he's going to go to school or how he's going to pick up the pieces of his life, but the next time he tries to message me, I will not pick up the phone. I have too much self-respect.